public procurement was perceived at one time to be a simple ordering or clerical task of government, intended to obtain the goods or services needed at the lowest price. More recently, public procurement has evolved to include leadership, plus strategic planning and management. Procurement professionals are involved in the entire procurement process, from the initial identification of need to contract closeout. Until very recently, the quantity and cost of contracts were considered key performance indicators for any public procurement entity. Now the efficiency of a procurement entity is measured by the quality, cost, and continuity of supplies, and the effects of purchases on a jurisdiction over short and long-term periods. Best value for the tax dollar is the driving force, rather than the lowest bid. Now, in both the United States and Canadian governments, procurement strategy is integrated into the strategic plans and goals of the government. Procurement entities measure continuous improvement and optimize the total cost of ownership. Procurement entities also pursue continuous improvement by analyzing data and maintaining positive relationships with suppliers. As a result of progress and evolution, life cycle costing has become an effective procurement tool that provides an economic assessment of alternatives, considering significant costs of ownership over the economic life of each alternative. The process seeks to determine the total cost of performing a given function during the useful life of the equipment or facility. Many procurement activities today are staff and service functions that provide critical information for planning through demand analysis, market analysis, supplier analysis, and procurement research. It is critical to the planning process that a full and complete understanding of the potential cost for goods and services is known. Once perceived to be a clerical gatekeeper, procurement professionals are now considered to be strategic players that offer added value to the organization.